Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Royal Roots. All right, so today we're gonna talk about suckers and pruning. Um, I actually came out here and already started to prune. Uh, I started it and then I said, let me go get my phone because here is another teachable moment. Um, because when I started growing my tomatoes, I had no idea about any of this. I just wanted to let it grow. And everything that I'm doing is optional. It's not something that you have to do. Your plant is going to grow. However, because I plant so many plants close together so I can get all the varieties in a smaller space, um, I need to do certain things to keep my plant healthy. So I prune and I pinch off suckers. And that's what we're gonna do today. I am going to record this and post it without editing. I know that you might have noticed I've been doing that. And the reason for that is because my editor, once I start making edits, for some reason it won't save to my phone and I'm gonna figure it out. But for now, the content is gonna be completely unedited. So I hope it goes well. Um, I am gonna just show you, cause I started this side already. And so basically what I did is I, took off all of the green, the stems up until, I missed that one, up until it got about right here. Now this is my first set of blossoms. And another optional thing is you can remove the blossoms so that you can allow all the energy to go into this plant getting bigger. I am gonna be doing some renegade gardening this year just so I can see what my limits are. So that's one of them. I'm not gonna pinch off any of these blossoms. I'm gonna let them stay on. Um, and I might end up changing that. Probably not. But I'm going to prune all the way up to actually this one is going to, this row is going to get pruned eventually all the way up to right here. But I want the plants to get a little bit taller before I do that. But what you're taking off are the stems that are not going to bear fruit. They're the very... They're the leafy stems. And you can tell the difference because this has, of course, leaves. And this, this stem here just has blossoms. So these are gonna bear fruit. These blossoms are gonna turn into tomatoes. Um, these are not gonna turn into anything. They are really just so that the sun can hit the, the leaves and the process of growing takes place. Um, but we're removing that so that it can be airflow. Airflow is important if you're in a humid area, um, somewhere where you could get up, your plant can get sick um, and you don't want that. So to keep it healthy, since I plant them so close together, I'm going to prune mine. The other thing that I'm going to do because I plant so close together is I'm going to pinch off the suckers. So the suckers, and I already did, I already did this side. So I'm gonna take you over here to this side. The suckers are, let me see if I can find one. The little, here we go. The little branches that are gonna grow in the armpits. You see that? Of a stem. And it will actually turn into like a main stock and the plant will bush out. Um, one of the things that you can do with suckers though, let me see if I can get a good one. Like here's another sucker right here that I'm gonna pinch out. Now this one's a little small for uh, what I'm about to tell you you can do. If they get a little bit larger than this, and I could probably still do it with this one, I just don't know um, how big a plant will get or how fast it would get big, I'm not sure. But if you pinch off a sucker that's a little bigger than this, or even with this one, you can stick it in some water and it'll root. Because remember, those little hair-like fibers will actually turn into roots. So it will root, and then this will be a whole new plant, like an absolutely whole new large plant. These are indeterminate tomatoes that I have on this trellis. So with indeterminate, they just get as big as you allow them. So some people will do that. They will go ahead and grow one tomato plant, and then as the suckers come up, they'll take them off, stick them in some water to root them, and stick them in the garden and they'll just be like new tomato starts. Um, so I'm gonna pinch them off because if I leave them on, they're gonna bush out. Let me set you up here so I can keep talking. Nope. 
uh, thought about it. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> so um, if I leave them on and I allow them to grow, they're going to turn into another main stock. And that's going to make the plant bush out this way. And I don't want my plants to bush out this way because I planted mine maybe a foot apart. And you really need to have more space for airflow. And so that you um, don't allow your plants to get sick. Um, there are some reasons why you would like them to bush out. Say, for instance, you have them further apart or you only have one plant and you want it to get really, really big, then that's absolutely fine. These things, again, are optional. They're not going to change whether or not the plant is going to grow or produce fruit. Um, it is just something that I have to do because I garden uh, with more plants in a smaller space. Um, and I just need to make sure that with the space being limited, they have enough room for it to not. This is gonna turn into a jungle, okay? It doesn't look like it yet because it's still very early in the season. But as this grows up, those plants are gonna start doing like this. And if I don't get the suckers, it'll get even worse. And that is what might cause sickness in the plants. So it's just another grooming Thing that you do when you're out in the garden it doesn't bother me to do that um, it's actually pretty fun once I get started I just keep pinching them off it seems like it's a lot of work but it's really not um, just get you a cup of coffee or tea and come out here with some music in your ear which is what I normally do um, so yep that's it we talked about pruning the suckers and pulling off the blossoms, optional things to do to maintain your plants and to allow them to grow the way that you want them to grow. But it is not a must, it's not required. You will get fruit even if you just leave that plant and let it go. Um, oh, before I go, let me just show you this example here of a plant that is pruned. This is still an indeterminate. I actually bought this today from Tractor Supply and I bought it because it had fruits on it already and none of mine do yet. <laughs> and so I said, let me go and get me one of these. This is a cherry tomato, um, husky cherry red cherry tomato. Um, and as you can see, it's already full of fruits. There's some more blossoms right here. And these clusters, these clusters are still gonna ripen and they're still gonna grow even though I pulled off. Here's, uh, this is a sucker right here. There was a stem right here and this sucker grew in the middle. So even though I pulled these off, these stems and these suckers off, this is still going to grow. These fruits are still going to ripen and they're gonna have plenty of space to do that. A lot of market gardeners will do this. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of tomatoes where these big, beautiful tomatoes and it's just all, all stock and then this cluster of tomatoes on there, you don't see any leaves. And this is what they do, they prune the leaves off just like you would do um, a uh, Brussels sprout plant, which I'm going to go and do that too. One of my plants looks like it's already trying to grow some Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna go and prune the leaves off of them so that it allows for the um, Brussels sprouts to form in the little armpits. I call them armpits. I don't know if that's the actual technical name for it, but I'm gonna get this done today kind of nice out we had a, uh, a lot of rain and storm and I went to the farmer's market this morning and I'm gonna pull these suckers off and then head in and get some dinner cooking um, but thanks again for joining us here at Royal Roots Homestead and until next time be blessed